Hello and welcome to Privat Fiske Fluid. Today I'm gonna tie a surf candy, but I'm gonna tie it a very different way. So uh, I have some new materials that I'm trying to use and uh, this is the first try. I've never, never done it before, but uh, here we go and uh, let's see how we do it. Okay, first of all I take my uh, thread, attach it to my hook. Hook is about the size uh, 2 or 1, I'm not quite sure, but that's not only important. And I go back all the way. And I take this pearl braid I have got here, pick out a piece and just make the underbody with it like this, attach it securely and go forwards, wrap this around, make this underbody shiny. Like this, do you get it? You make my scissors and just snip it off. So, and now I take my white bucktail, natural white bucktail for the underbody. Looks like this. Take out a piece just about where I want it, make the middle piece because it's not so very long and has the right crinkle in it that I like, like this, measure out and put this wise upside down, snip it off. So, maybe get rid of some loose hairs. Use your thumbnail just to distribute it on the hook so it covers the underside and turn it around. Now I'll take my upper body piece and this is an olive bucktail. And I do the same there, find an adequate piece of it, measure out so I have the same length that I do on the inner body, take out the short ones, measure out how long I want it, I want it just as long as the inner body, maybe even a little bit no longer, so I just touch it on the top like this and distribute my hairs like this just make this all the way and now just have to scratch myself it's <laughs> a lot of hairs flying around in the air so now I take my lateral scale, take a one piece, it's more than enough, and put one on each side, attach the one side first, one that points to me and the other one side, the other side, the far side, attach that in the same way, just adjust it a little, so, snip it off, now, just have to clean it up, now I can just take the thread away for a moment 
Put some whip finish. Snip it off and make it go away. Now I take my new materials that I'm not showing you yet, but now here it is. This is a double sided tape. It's crystal clear and I'm gonna cover the hook all the way to where I want it with this tape. And I take out a large piece of it and use my scissor, the straight one this time, snip it off and just I leave the top side on because I can if I want just cut it a little slimmer I'm gonna do that but remember this is very sticky so I have to be careful not to get I'll just do this off camera now so you can I'll show you what I'm doing. Just snip this off. I'm gonna show you very soon because it's not so easy to do this on camera. There I have it. I put this other half on my desk. And now I take this one that I cut to shape. And I just attach it to the side, make it go around like this. See now the top part is, uh, is getting loose. That's exactly what I want. Now I can cover this whole body with it and uh, I think now it's time for me to just cut it off. And just get rid of the top paper. This is now very sticky. There have been some hairs that have been uh, misplaced, but that's not so important. Now I can take my eyes. I find my dubbing needle. Where it is? There it is. Just peel it off. Remember, this is very sticky, so it will make the eyes stick. Take the other side and now I'm going to take my paper like this and take out some of this Gorilla Glue and even this, even this out. Take a little piece of it, dab of it on the paper. I do this because I could have been using some other glues but I think they're cures too fast so I just want this to cover up get rid of this loose here it's not gonna be there you see now that uh, the wraps of this tape is becoming invisible after I put this glue on top this is just a video of this method of course I could have made this fly a lot nicer but it will fish I can assure you this saves uh, saves a lot of glue so it 
will very, be very nice. And after I finished putting all this glue on onto this body, I'm going to put this onto a drying wheel. And it will cure in a matter of hours. I think this method is just uh, experiment. I think, of course, this head is going to be very. It's going to be very thick. You could have could have using smaller amount of tape to make this fly. A little thinner and slim, slimmer, but just have to make my drying wheel ready. So uh, I'm gonna show you. Have to move this around a little bit so it doesn't it doesn't uh, the glue is not running. But I think this for the first try looks very good course I could have uh, done it a little other way but uh, I think this is a very nice uh, product for the first try e you can s self you see uh, for yourself how fast this tying was it's very nice I'm gonna um, develop this method uh, try with uh, some slimmer uh, pieces of tape and uh, make it look nicer but this was the first try this was the what we call it in Norwegian general prove uh, this was, was the general test <laughs> of course you can sit like this and just uh, turn this uh, wise around uh, for hours but I have no uh, I have no time for that so i just uh, say to you all this was a very quick video from Piruas fisker fluor uh, this is how it's gonna look when you're finished of course take some more time to make this uh, look even nicer but thank you all for watching my videos and uh, be sure to hit the notification bell and we'll always get the latest videos from me and uh, well well good night and tight lines bye bye